We are back on Coach's Corner East on the 29th of December, two days before the end of 2021. So glad for you to join us this evening. Show is brought to you in part by Terry Gribble and Associates at your Galleon Community Center, YMCA, Dr. Erica Schieber at the Cyrus Veterinary Service, 222 West Mary Street, Rod Steiger and Associates here at Pizza Hut in Galleon and Bucyrus, our show since 1992, and Luann Krebs at River's Edge Embroidery and Screen Printing, sponsor of our phone board t-shirts, and it's a uh, great honor to welcome uh, back to the show Crestline Lady Bulldog Basketball Head Coach Lance Hood. And Coach Hood, thanks for coming tonight. Uh, I certainly appreciate it, and we ch changed up the time a little bit, but you're so gracious to be here, so I appreciate that. One and seven overall, one and three in the MBC. And if we go back to the 18th of December, game against Mansfield Christian that uh, uh, was pretty lopsided, a, a team that's playing really, really well, 65 to 19. Talk a little bit about uh, what the Lady Flames brought and uh, why it was hard to kind of, you know, get some points against them. Well, it's so funny because they're, they're lengthy. And like I said, about two, three years ago, I saw the emergence starting to happen with them when I was coaching at St. Pete's. So, I, I, you know, before the game, I talked to the coach, and I let her know I was really appreciative of what she done, and she inspires me as far as working with this program because I know they were where we were three years ago, and that was powerful. Uh, their center number 42, Kylie Jones, her dad is a Mansell legend. His name is Smoke Jones. Okay. And uh, – he was my uncle's best friend growing up. And the crazy thing is I got a bunch of little cousins that go to Mansfield Christian. <laughs> so um, I, 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 I'm going to be kind of weary in the future of playing them because uh, I, I know what their DNA is about. Right. Um, and they got the tall side of my family too, so that's what makes it kind of messed up. Mm -hmm. um, so, <clears throat> but he used to take me to the park all the time when I was two, three let me shoot around, uh, with, and I even wore 42 because of him. Yeah, nice. She doesn't wear 42, I don't know why, but, <laughs> um, but it is what it is. But that was a learning experience for us because we handled their pressure early. They were just you know more seasoned basketball players than we were, but we didn't do that bad against their press. Mm -hmm. So that made a major difference in the game. And, you know, there were trees in there, and we got some things. And that was the first time all season we saw a 2-3. Mm -hmm. So, really, you know, for us to run our offense against them, it was getting there a little shaky. It helped us when we had to play against um, our, our next game against um, Central Christian. Central Christian, right. So, that helped us. They helped us quite a bit. And I look forward to playing them again. Uh, Mansell Christian has a real class act mm -hmm. program, and that's important to me more than anything because that says a lot about her um, and what she's doing. So, you know, I think it helped us moving forward. And the question is, how much? How much did it help us? Is going to show tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then uh, Tuesday, the twenty-first, we talked about going to Central Christian and uh, you got a nice Christmas gift and getting your first win of the year. Uh, it's a, a tough place to play. Uh, when I talk to Coach Tyler Sanders and the boys, they don't like going there uh, for whatever reason, and I can ask the girls specifically what they may not like about it. Uh, it looks like a kind of cool place when I've seen pictures. kind of looks like a, a cabin, so to speak, or whatever. But uh, you go down there, and a team that has been pretty decent in the past, but you jump on them, and you put the pedal down, and you roar away with a 46-19 to victory. And first and foremost, congratulations on that. But talk about the feeling of, of being in that moment and coaching the game, getting the win, and then talking to the girls in the locker room after and how much that was a relief to get that one. Well, to be quite honest, you know, I, I come from the saving school of thought. Uh, anybody who knows me, you know, my family's, uh, my, my dad's family is from Tuscaloosa originally, so I am a, a diehard Alabama Crimson Tide fan. So I'm a lot like Saban. You know, we were up, and I was still coaching. Mm -hmm. Maddie was having a good game. I still was getting on her about turning the ball over. <laughs> um, I, I think the biggest thing that taught us was that, you know, if because they, they tried to pressure us, and they did get something off a little bit, but we ended up breaking that pressure, and we were able to do some things. Um, you know, we shot the ball pretty good for our – 
for our situation, we shot the ball pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, we played as a team. Uh, we really went after the basketball as far as like just in the air, not fouling all the time. Uh, even though Kennedy caught four, Kennedy caught four fouls, but they weren't like they weren't silly fouls. Mm. They were play, they were aggressive, uh, you know, going after the ball type of uh, fouls. But I think what it did was it showed us we can score the ball. Mm -hmm. Um, we make the right decisions, and I think it was just a big step going forward. And you know, I'm not, I'm like this, and I felt real bad for the Central Christian coach because she's in the similar boat that we are. Mm -hmm. But you know, we we did it the right way. We didn't try to run up the score or sure. anything like that. It just we moved the ball around, and it just happened to go in our favor. Yeah. And that's the thing. You know, I never kick anybody while they're down sure. because I don't want that to happen to me. Understood. You know, so I, I give you a lot of credit for that. For sure. Well, we'll take a break here before we talk to the young ladies around the table. We're brought to you in part by Don Barn Associates at Galleon Building and Lone Bank, Matt Studer at Spitzer Chrysler Dodge Jeep at Ram and Kia, one mile east of the Richland Mall, Mark Osborne and Associates at Ecrane International, serving worldwide markets from the Galleon Industrial Park, Stephen Chuck Keller at Keller Auto Parts, your Napa dealer, Uptown Galleon and Crestline. Marie Mounts at the Platinum Insurance Agency, your progressive agent, 131 Harding Way East, Uptown Galleon. Joe Kleiman Associates at Galleon Office of First Federal Bank of Ohio. First up, it's junior Maddie Angler. And Maddie, welcome to the show. It's good to see you back. And congratulations on that first win. Thank you. And you must have scored quite a few in that game. Is that right? It was 20, yeah. Good for you. Is that the highest you've ever scored in a game? Yes. My grandpa and my dad, I got home and I like, here, think you scored 20 points? It's like, no, it's like, we didn't either. <laughs> so what was it about that game uh, that you just, were you feeling it? Were you just getting open looks? What was it? Well, in the locker room before the game, I was like, guys, I'm a bucket today. That's what I told them. Mm -hmm. And then I made one, and then I made another one, and another one, and then. It just kind of yeah. snowballed from there for sure. Yeah. Do you not like playing down there? What is it about Central Christian? I mean, maybe you do now. You go down there and, and drop 20 on I them. mean, I never really had any kind of, like, superstition against playing there, like, not like to play there. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, like, ever since we were little, or the girls would always be like, the locker rooms are gross. Uh, and when we were in middle school, we used to get put up in the, like, kind of press box. It's like a classroom, but it's kind of a press box above their stage. And that's where we had to get put this uh, past Okay, game. all right. Because the boys had to have the locker room. But, I mean, you would, you would trade it for a win any time, for sure, right? Yeah. Okay. So now uh, you get that win out of, out of the way, uh, and now there's opportunity, and that's going to come up tomorrow night on the road. Did you get some shooting in over, because I know you were supposed to have a game with Canton South that never happened, and uh, or do you want to comment on that? Comment on that? We didn't even know anything about it. One day I just looked at Max Preps, and they, there they were. Uh -huh. Then I looked at the video. Some of them girls were as tall as I was, and they're in Division Two, and they were, uh -huh. which I'm like, let's go, but... You know, it wasn't anywhere else on anybody else's schedule, so I had to cut check with King. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, so we kind of um, – <laughs> that was kind of out the blue. Well, I suspect the former athletic director who was from Canton South probably arranged that and maybe didn't say anything. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm only assuming here. But, uh, well, a couple of those girls were smacking backboards on some of their <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> so you, did, you didn't get that, but you probably got some practice time, gym time in. Yeah. You feel pretty good, ready to go, get another win make some history here and, and, and do some good things in the second half? Health-wise, you feel pretty good? I'm, I'm great. I'm You're in good shape. Okay, very good. Well, drop another 20 tomorrow night on the Lady Indians and, and see how that feels. And We'll uh, see if I'm still a bucket tomorrow night. All right. You, you make sure you say that same thing, all right? <laughs> thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Brooklyn Gregory uh, is next. And, Brooklyn, uh, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. How's your game been transpiring? Has it been getting better and better as the year's gone on? I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> what do you have to work on here? Um, a lot. I don't know. Just more everything. offense, more defense, or just everything? Everything. Yeah, boxing out, being more aggressive. Is that something coach tells you all the time, to be more aggressive? Does he want you to shoot? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's got to be I'm, a... I'm going to clarify that. Yeah, For sure. anybody who's listening. Every player has the green light as long as they're open. Mm-hmm. That is the rule in my program. So, and, but it's within the context of your shot. 
Mm -hmm. So if you ain't hit a three all year, don't go out jacking a three. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about you ain't hit one in practice, you ain't hit one. You know, don't do that. But from a coaching standpoint, the thing I want Brooklyn to do offensively is to be more consistent, keep her head up while she's driving. And defensively, just uh, continue to box out and whatever situation we have her in, you know, be intelligent. Don't preserve all your energy trying to go after a ball that's not you, – you can't get to. Right. Sure. Like, if, you, if she's 6'4 and you're 5'6, don't go jump up in the air <laughs> trying to go get the ball from her. It's not going to happen. But what you can do is slide behind her and be in a good position to take a charge. Sure, sure. Confidence? Is it a confidence thing that you just need to get some more confidence in yourself and your game? Probably, yeah. Yeah, so what are you going to do about that? How are you going to get that? Maybe be like Maddie. Yeah. Up a bucket. Yeah, there you go. That would be a good thing to do. Well, uh, good luck tomorrow and then the rest of the year, and uh, maybe we'll catch up as the year goes on. I appreciate you coming. Finally, uh, it's uh, Leela McCoy. and Right? Did I say her? Layla. Layla. Gosh, I thought I... It's fine. Layla. I got to get that right. Layla, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. How's things going for you? Is it uh, getting a little easier now? I know you hadn't played much before, if ever, right? Before? I mean, I played a middle school, but I didn't play last year. Yeah, okay. Is it getting easier now? Yeah. It, it, calming down a little bit? Not as nervous? Yeah. Where have you got better from the beginning of the season to where you are now? Mm. <laughs> Ball handling, shooting, defense? defense has gotten better it's not the best but I'm getting better uh-huh so what's the next big step to get even beyond that here as we go into the second part of the year just, just to stay focused on the game uh-huh all right and, and confidence too probably right all right well thank you for coming I appreciate it thanks so very very much we'll take one final break here before we wrap up uh, we're brought to you by the Burkhart family at the Burkhart Farm Center, your Case IH dealer straight west of Galleon on the Manette New Winchester Road. Mike Kleinite at Ag Credit Residential Lending, Desiris Mount Gillian Marion, Sweet Baby Ray Jones, Davies Little Brother, Ohio Door and Sash, 120 South Street in Galleon, as well as Lee Plymo and Brad Seibert at the Plymo Insurance Group, Galleon and Desiris, North Central State College Mansfield in the Crawford Success Center, North Walnut Street across from the courthouse in Desiris, and Phil and Sue Schreck at Phil's Deli, just east of the Pizza Hut at the bridge in Galleon. Back with uh, Coach Lance Hood of the Lady Bulldogs of Crestline High School. And get back at it tomorrow night. You're at Mount Gilead. Uh, a little bit of a trip, but not too bad. What have you seen out, out of the Lady Indians on film that maybe concerns you a little bit? Relentlessness. They're relentless. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, and our thing is, you know, I, I've told the girls, listen, even, I was at last, last night, I was at Mansfield Senior versus Madison. Mm -hmm. And Madison out tigered the Tigers last wow. night. Wow. Sat down, pressed them 94 feet, and you could see the discouragement on Senior High's face. And the one thing I addressed to the ladies today is listen, teams are going to press us. We're going to get uh, discouraged. There's going to be some turnovers that happen, but it's all in how we handle it. Mm -hmm. Can we bounce back when we turn the ball, if and when we turn the ball over two or three times? Mm -hmm. Can we be tough and get, you know, some easy baskets? That's the biggest thing we have to we have to capitalize off of. Because when you leave, when you press man to man or wherever, there is going to eventually be an opening because you're going to trap. So we have to be tough enough to use our fundamental skills get the ball in the right places and score it. And from that point, if we can do that, regardless of what the score looks like, we'll be fine. Good, good. And that, that's, that has been the biggest thing with us. Then uh, after the new year, uh, Tuesday the 4th, you go to another non-league game at Hillsdale uh, out of the Wayne County Athletic League. Have you thought about them much? You looked at anything with them much? Uh, I've looked. And Wayne County is always a tough place. Mm -hmm. Wayne County, ever since I was a kid, you know, uh, just good, solid basketball is played in that area. Mm -hmm. So for us, like I said, our biggest thing is what I've told these ladies is until we break full court pressure, this is what we're going to see. And we don't know where we can go until we put ourselves in that position to, to break full court pressure. Right now, you know, when is it going to happen? Like I said, I think we did a great job against Mansfield Christian. 
there was like with Mansfield Christian, we made some mistakes as far as passing the basketball that we could have corrected. Maddie made some but, mistakes. <laughs> hey, you're um, up. But you know, if we can break pressure, then that's a start moving in the right direction. Sure. We've had some difficulties doing that, so we've implemented some things in practice that you know we're going to see them all night, especially mm-hmm. if how much it helps. Um, because that's the biggest thing I try to emphasize to girls. Unless you use the things I teach you, I'm not going to know what to improve on. Right. You know, if you do your own thing, then I'm still got, I got to try to figure out how to get you to do our system. Yeah. So, but if you do our system and you don't, you're not successful with what you're doing, now it's on me as a coach to figure out what's the best thing for our ball club. Sure. Very good. Well, good luck tomorrow and uh, into next week, and uh, we'll catch up here in a couple weeks as the season progresses. Certainly appreciate you all coming out. Have a very happy New Year. Enjoy. Buckets, right? That's going to be. Daddy's going to say buckets tomorrow, and the rest of the team's going to pick up on it for sure. I appreciate you coming out. Good luck to you. Hey, coming up a little later uh, tonight at 7.30 on WQEL, girls uh, high school basketball to be Buckeye Central at Bucyrus. Then I'll be in for a special edition Friday night phone board tonight, so I'll be heading back to the studio for that right around 9 o'clock. Tomorrow on the 30th, we have high school girls basketball on WQEL at 7.30. It'll be Bellevue at Upper Sandusky. On uh, Friday, the 31st, we have Ohio State women's basketball taking on the Michigan Wolverines from Columbus. Coverage begins at 11.45. And we'll have the Ohio State uh, Rose Bowl preview show at 6 o'clock on New Year's Eve evening. Saturday, the 1st, we have the Ohio State uh, Buckeyes out in Pasadena for the Rose Bowl against the Utah Utes. Coverage begins at 3.30. And then if COVID doesn't take the game away, we'll have Ohio State men's basketball on Sunday as they take on the Nebraska Cornhuskers from Lincoln, Nebraska. Coverage begins at 7.15. I want to thank our managers here at the Galleon Pizza Hut tonight, Bree, Michelle, and Jordan. Thank you to Ian, our server tonight, Danny Lane uh, in the studio, Cameron Moon, uh, camera operator, Harper Boggs for all she does here as well. Thank you to Colonel Crawford girls basketball coach Kyle Fenner and her team, Crestline girls basketball coach Lance Hood and his team for being here tonight. Thank you to all of our sponsors, most of all, you for tuning in to the show on our Facebook Live. For WQEL Sports, this has been Mike Sparks reminding you, a spirit with a vision is a dream with a mission. Happy New Year, and have a good night, everybody.